Today we're going to be reviewing the Michigan Instruments of the Thumper CPR system, model number 1007. But first, let's go through the parts. So this is the arm and column assembly. We have our massager pad, the dome which holds excess air and lets us know the depth of the compressions, our ventilator connection. Here we have our oxygen tank with the appropriate adapter and our oxygen tubing that comes with the thumper. Here is the thumper backboard which attaches to our main backboard and allows the thumper to slide into place. Now when system control is in the run position, the system is operational and ready for use. You can do ventilations and compressions in the run position. In the stop position, chest compressions are disabled and not available, although ventilations are still available and operational. And you always want to make sure that this is in the off position. It is off, this would be on, so it's good it was in the off position. The compression depth knob is responsible for controlling the depth of compressions on the patient. The depth of compression corresponds to the measured AP or anterior posterior diameter shown on the back of the column. The compression depth is increased with a clockwise rotation and decreased with a counterclockwise rotation. And when this machine is off, you always want to make sure that this is all the way counterclockwise. Now over here is our ventilation volume. This is a rotational control used to control the volume in milliliters of oxygen that is delivered by the thumper ventilator to the patient. The tidal volume is increased with a clockwise rotation and decreased with a counterclockwise rotation. You want to make sure once again that this is all the way in the off position. Now this is the ventilation mode switch which is used to select between a 5 to 1 compression ventilation ratio and no ventilation with continuous compressions. To turn it on, you flip it up, turn it off, it's off. You want to make sure you leave this in the off position. So here we have a patient who is in full arrest. We're going to verbalize that CPR has already been started, the defibrillator pads are already connected and we're ready to place the thumper. So the first thing we're going to do is put our backboard, our thumper backboard onto our main backboard and we're going to roll the patient onto the backboard. So with some help, we'll just roll the patient. And you want to have the shoulders as high as you can on the thumper backboard. Next, we're going to connect our straps, which go over and under the shoulders. There's two straps. Make sure they're tight and then continue manual CPR. So next we're going to attach our oxygen tubing to our tank. You're just going to pull back and push it into place. You can give it a slight tug just to make sure that it is firmly connected. And connect the oxygen to the thumper. I heard it click into place, but I'm just going to pull back on it slightly just to make sure it is firmly connected. Then the thumper is placed in the slot in the thumper backboard. Now, for obese patients, you're going to have the arm actually on the outside of the column, but for regular size patients, the arm can stay on the inside. I'm going to loosen the arm locking knob 
and place the massager pad right where you would place your hands over the sternum and place it right until it reaches about zero. It's good setting. Make sure this is locked and tight. To figure out the compression depth, we come to the back of the thumper and look at the column. We're at the four and a half mark. Now that we're in place, we're going to turn on the oxygen. To start compressions, you're going to come to system control and turn it to run. Then you're going to increase the compression depth by turning the knob clockwise. And you want to go until you reach that four and a half mark. If you want to stop compressions, you can just come to system control and turn the knob. If you want to continue compressions, you just turn it again and go straight to run. If you want to discontinue the thumper, you can go ahead and turn off the oxygen, loosen the arm locking knob to lift it up. You can pull the base out of the thumper backboard. Disconnect the oxygen tubing from the thumper by hitting the release button and disconnect the oxygen tubing from the oxygen tank by just pulling back. Phew! And that is how you use the Michigan Instrument, the Thumper CPR system, model number 1007.